I'm training to get my first dunk. Let's go. Starting off hot. Did I get dunked on? And did I want immediate retaliation? Yes, of course. And did I get it? That's, you're gonna have to find out. And here's the thing. This vlog will be about my progress from jumping to getting dunks off drop steps in games. Oh! I'm excited to bring you my workouts that I do. I'm excited to show you every jump that I do in this training. So if you just follow this vlog, you will see every jump session I do to get to be that elite game dunker that I wanna be and I will be and I already am. Let's go! So today I had another similar thought as the last vlog today. It's like, why not go dunk? Yo, we out here. It feels so good to shoot around. If you guys are still in lockdown, stay strong, keep working on your game, but uh, stay patient. But it feels amazing to shoot around, even though I'm out of shape. Just shooting and playing. I miss playing. For those that don't know, I want to dunk in games. I don't just want to dunk. I want to dunk on people and end their lives. So I want to go around the country and I want to dunk on people so badly in a game that they can't play anymore. And not because they're injured, just because their integrity and their and their self-worth is through the floor. <laughs> but honestly, I'm super pumped to see what I can do today. Just taking it easy, easy, easy. And now since I know my hamstring's not worse from aggravating it, it, it can handle the function, I can push through that pain and not be worried. So that's a huge shift. Again, don't push through pain. I've, I've gone through two years of, of training with physical therapists to get to this point. So do what you have to do. Heal your injuries, number one thing. Number one key, I talked about in my last video. The number one key is staying injury free. So think very long term, don't rush the process. I'm still staying patient, let's go. Oh, miss, that's what's crazy. Nine, nine and a half. <laughs> I have no bounces. <laughs> That's baby age. We don't fucking. Rusty as can be, but amazing. You dunk it yet? No, no, no. Why not? I'm like, I'm too short, I'm too short. Too short. Yeah. That's what the channel's about. You gotta be jumping. <laughs> That's why I make these videos, so you go dunk. All right, so for those that don't know, quick hamstring tear, and I've been working with trainers and physical therapists for almost two years, finally found the cause or the root or how to find the path forward. So I wanna give you this hamstring update because I'm pushing through pain, and you will see me say that a lot, and it's just because of the way the injury is laying right now. I have full function, I've gotten multiple opinions, I've gotten ultrasounds, I've done a lot of research on the actual injury I have, so pushing through the pain to help realign the tissue is what's needed for me. I don't recommend any I'm not a doctor I want you guys to figure out what you need if you have any type of injuries but you do have to push your body and tell it what to do at some point in cer certain ways so that's where I'm at and that's why I'm back to training that's why I'm pushing through it and that's why I'm excited to dunk and I still have a lot to go in the mind category what does that even mean <laughs> what I mean by that is I can't really jump well yet be impeccable with your word 
off a drop step because it's all that hamstring. It's all my right leg hamstring. So off a run, I don't think about it. I use my quads. I overuse my quads. That's why it's so imbalanced. So I'm going to be focusing on standstill jumping, vert jumping. I'm going to tell you more about the goals later. But that's where I'm at now. I'm doing single leg deadlifts. I'm doing that stretch that I said in my last vlog about really stretching the hamstring. It's getting better quick. Still a ton of pain. So I want you guys to know I'm pushing through pain daily. So it's like putting yourself, it's like breathing. It's like imagine you had to hold your breath for an hour three times a day. You can do it, but it sucks. Every Well, you can't do it. What am I saying? My point is, is the pain. I have to push myself through this pain, push through it, recarve these patterns day in, day out, and stay consistent with it because my body wants to compensate. My body wants to protect itself, and I have to unlearn that, and I've carved it for so long. So whatever you're going through right now, I really advise that you work on the foundation and the details now. Take the long journey because in the end, it'll breed the best possible results and you can't shortcut it. So I'm at a high level. I've pushed myself over 12 inches of vertical and now I'm trying to squeeze out more. So let's go. Putting in the work. What are my goals? My goals are stand still vertical getting up, probably increasing my deadlift now that I know I can push my hamstring to get strength. And I want to drop step dunk like a freaking menace. Love that word. And I want to dunk off the dribble. I want to focus on the dribble and I want to fly. I'm not too worried about the 43 inch goal surpassing because I feel like if I just run full speed, I'll be freaking flying. But I'm really focused on staying disciplined. I'm excited for this channel to see every step of me. I feel like I'm at ground zero with a ground zero with a freaking 35 inch vert. And I want to jump off a drop step and dunk with two hands off both plants, left, right, right, left. Even my one foot was feeling good. So I want to get really elite, legit dunker, right? I've never felt like that. I'm getting vulnerable here. I've never felt like a legit dunker because everything felt like a gimmick with a lob. I don't want that. I want to be flying off the dribble, off a drop step. I want to dunk with any lane I got. Other news, Ball is Life is coming to Miami, where your boy happens to live, and I want to get in those runs. So underdog status, bro. I'm on injury reserve. Nobody knows. I want to catch somebody. I'm quick. Got no handles, but I'm quick. And I can throw lobs. I got that I got that IQ. I got that pat. I got the dime. So if Sutherland's out there, my God, the alley-oops, I'll throw him. That'll be sick. So back to my goals. Drop step, stand still, just get legit. And I just want you guys to know every step of the way. I'm not going to tell you my long-term goals. You know them. Just jump higher, Duncan Games. But I want to go step by step and make this vlog a follow along. So week in, week out, whatever, whenever I post, you will see the progress and I'll give you insight just like this. So you guys can see the details of how I'm working because I got to this point and then you have a huge setback or everything's a learning curve. So now I'm ready to surpass it. And those are my goals right now. And I'm so freaking pumped. So going forward. Now, did I get dunked on honestly? It's a light body. Look at this. Check this out. So I'm helping the weak side, okay? I go to jump. I'm actually more disappointed that off my left right plant, I didn't even get rim level. Maybe right there. I, I should have been at least rim level. So on a serious note, I would want to get up really high off a drop step. That's the main thing I'm concerned about. On the positive note, I'm glad I went for it. Do you have to get dunked on to be able to dunk on other people? Yeah. Now check the eyes. Check the eyes. A little retaliation here. If the ball bounce off the backboard a couple more inches and not in, I'm about wrist level. I'm punching that thing on my own teammate. It would have been the best putback of my life for the fact that there was in traffic. It was the angle. I got it on footage. I've had putbacks in my life where I've missed the footage because my phone fell. Ah! Point being, first day back playing pickup since quarantine. I haven't played a competitive minute of basketball since quarantine, and this is how the first day goes? Mm. I'm so pumped for the potential. I feel like I have no bounce, starting from ground zero, and I'm cool with it. Wow. 
You tell me. Did I use it as clickbait? Of course. Do I need to even say that? No, but I'm showing you the full clip. I could hide it forever and just say I dunked on somebody. The picture looks real. But I mean, I could have lived with myself. You get it. Okay.